Hi Stamping Friends, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks for being here. Today I want to share with you tons and tons of card ideas. And the occasion for this is that the Stamp It Up last chance sale on our holiday products is beginning today. Our holiday catalog is soon to be retired. And today we officially have all of the retiring items on a last chance list, many of which are on sale up to 60% off. I have created my list of my top 20 favorite items that are retiring. And for each one of them, I have cards to share with you. Some of them I have 10 or more cards to share with you. I have lots and lots of card samples to show here. So let's get started and we'll take a look. For each of the products I'll mention, I'll show you the products, I'll show you the sample cards, and I do not have the list of discounts in front of me, but just keep in mind, if you're interested in any of these products, I'll have links in the video description below, and all of them are available while supplies last. So if the supply does not sell out, the last day to order these will be January 4th. If they sell out before that, they will be gone and no longer available. So just keep that in mind. So I'm starting with number 20 on my favorites list. Sometimes it's really hard. I'm terrible at picking favorites. Uh, if somebody asked me my favorite food or my favorite movie, I never know the answer to that question, but uh, I do my best to put these in an order and create my favorites list each time we have a catalog that retires. So let's get started. This is the Christmas Barn stamp set and die set as well. It comes as a bundle if you order uh, prior to the sale, if you ordered uh, both, you'd get 10% off compared to ordering the stamps or the dies. Uh, again, keep in mind, some of these are on larger discounts than that. So this is a really neat set. I love it. You can use this barn at other times of the year too. This is not just for Christmas, even though the name implies it might be. And I have several card samples to share with you. Now, if you wanna see still pictures of these, I'll have them on my website. Use the link in the video description below to get there. And I will mention that some of these cards I'm sharing were swap cards. This one in my right hand right now, I cannot take credit for creating this card. And I am going to link, I'll put a link down there for the cards I didn't create that you can go and see who created them. Uh, I received lots of these at a Stampin' Up! event and I, made the mistake of detaching names from them after a, a while ago. Anyway, uh, now I know, don't he detach the names because I want to make sure I give people credit. But the ones made by some of my team members, I do know who made them. Uh, Megan Reinley Sadowski made this one. And this is a real easy one. This is a real fun one with a neat watercolor background. That is how this is going to work. Number 19. I know we love washi tape. Sometimes it collects and we're like, where did all this washi tape come from? What am I supposed to do with all of this? But this washi tape is special. I love this glitter washi tape. It comes in a four pack. It was perfect for Halloween cards, uh, but I have used this on some others and you know, separate the colors so you could use it for anything. Here were two Halloween cards I created with it. Love that sparkle. And we have a pumpkin card we'll see here in a little bit that has some of that black on it as well. Number 18, Gingham Cottage Designer Paper. I am going to show several designer paper packs here. It's a little bit hard to see some of these. I'm just gonna flip through. You can see my scraps. You can see my whole sheets here. This is a huge paper pack that comes with these gingham plaid prints and lots of different colors. And I, I love the black and white, I love the neutrals, but then these different colors are really nice as well. I like that these are toned down and you can use them on a lot of cards without taking away from whatever your main focus or interest, uh, item of interest is. So here are a few cards. And we may see some more here as we go throughout. I had created a farmhouse Christmas tutorial that was really fun. Uh, again, I'm gonna try and put these links on my, I'll put these on my website. If you go ch check out my website, here's another black and white one and one with the green. Love this little punch. We're gonna look at that here in a little bit. Next, number 17, the candy canes bundle, sweet candy canes bundle. So here is what the, that looks like. I really like that we have a candy cane facing each direction. 
Uh, we don't have to use our creative mirror stamping technique when we have one that goes each way. And they're nice and big, so you can make cards simply with these because they take up so much space. Some really nice greetings, candy, co candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses and some other cute ones. Uh, the dies are really adorable and I have lots of fun card samples here. This one was created by my team member, Pam Christian. Love that she embossed that the stamping there on that candy cane. Several of these I received as swaps, like I said, so I'll have the link to go see who created them since I've detached the names. But this is a beautiful one with the double overlay of that background design. Here are some more beautiful ones. And then I'm kind of, I'm, I'm the oddball here. I made this card, a uh, very simple one for an event that I did, but I switched up the colors. I used Fresh Freesia and Mint Macaron, and I did get quite a few compliments on the color choice. So that's kind of a fun way to switch up the colors. The next one is number 16. It is the Decorated with Happiness bundle. And I just have one card to share. This one was created by Trevis Fossler, and I really like the fun choice of colors on this one. Uh, some really neat dyes in this one. Next, 15, and I'm kind of cheating. This is my list, so I'm allowed to cheat, right? So I'm putting two items in one for this one. It's two different paper packs because, again, I have a hard time choosing. This one is called Santa Express. We have gifts. We have this adorable North Pole scene. We have Santas. We have Santa and Mrs. Claus. Uh, these back, the ones on the back, I don't know if you're able to see these. I love this, the Ho 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 print, Fa La La. Really fun prints. And then, because I'm cheating and I couldn't pick, this is the Storybook Gnomes paper pack. These, again, are my scraps that are left. I basically ran out because I love this paper pack. Uh, but some snowflakes, this one is really fun, those wintry trees. We have gnomes, we have mushrooms, we have more snowy prints, and some that I used up, but never fear, I have card samples to show you to see some of the ones that we are missing. So first, let's look at the Santa Express pack. Here is one with that fun dog punch that I said we're gonna talk about a little bit, a really neat fun fold that sits up and displays. Uh, but right now we're talking about those fun designer prints. So you can see those. This was a tutorial that I did on some really simple Christmas cards. And I thought, I think this is a beautiful pack just for really, really simple cards and you don't have to do much else with them. Here's one with that gift print that I received in a swap. Now let's look at some of the Storybook Gnomes prints. And I know I must have sent the rest. I know I had several more of these, but I didn't find them when I went to look. So uh, some of the mushrooms. Here was a waterfall card. I created a tutorial for this, which was really fun. So we had the Mushrooms here, this mushroom, I cut straight out of the designer paper and actually some of these gnomes, I cut straight out of that paper as well with that die set. Uh, if you're interested in the gnome stamps and dies, the stamp set is retiring, the die set is not, uh, interestingly enough. So I'll mention that. Here is a fun fold. The background paper and all of these pieces, I just cut these out by hand. Uh, these were all from this paper pack. Isn't that fun? So really cute set, Storybook Gnomes paper. Next, number 14, the candy cane designer paper. Now, I already showed you a bunch of candy cane cards. I'll bring those back in real quick. Here you can see uh, pieces and parts from this paper pack. But here is one I had not shown you yet. This was a swap card I received. And then all of those candy cane cards, except for mine, because I was the oddball, uh, these all used that designer paper. 
And these actually, I believe, were cut straight out of that paper. I don't think that those were not even stamped. They were cut straight out. So some fun ones from the candy cane paper. Okay, let's get back to some stamps and dies. Number 13. And I have a ton of card samples for this. I feel like maybe it's not as many as I thought. But the Leaves of Holly bundle. Beautiful classic set that you can use for years and years to come. Uh, for Christmas projects has the layering stamps. So if you want to, you can stamp this one with a lighter color and then this over the top with a darker color to get the shading. Same thing with these larger ones, same thing with the berries. And then the die set is just beautiful. Uh, this die in particular, I'll show you a card sample that uses that. And here are the cards. I'll bring in my really, really simple ones first. I did a tutorial with a, I believe this was my one sheet wonder tutorial where I showed how to cut uh, white paper from eight and a half by 11 down to the size to use on some cards and create some really simple cards in the process. So if you're learning to make cards or if you like to keep things clean and simple or you're just trying to make some last minute ones and you're about out of time. These are some that I created with this Leaves of Holly bundle. Now for some that are a little bit stepped up, actually a lot stepped up. The rest of these I, I received in swaps. This one did not have a name on it. Uh, so I'm not sure who created this one. Someone on my team created that, but I'm not sure who. Tanya Swank is one of my team members. She creates beautiful cards. Uh, love this one. I don't know if you're able to see. There are, she used Wink of Stella on those holly leaves. So it's glistening. This next one, Debbie Dotson, one of my team members. This one is beautiful as well. Here you can see Wink of Stella on the berries. Uh, but this is really neat with the overlay of that corner die in the background, which does not come in the Holly bundle. And then this one, uh, Paula Clevenger created this. And here you can see that detailed die that I pointed out that has the tag with the Holly attached. So really beautiful sample made with this bundle. Next, number 12. We'll go back to some designer papers. And this is another one. I have a whole bunch of samples because I really like this paper. The Bowels of Holly designer paper pack. This poinsettia print is one of my favorites. This birch bark one is one of my favorites. I used these. I used uh, several packs of this paper and this is what I have left. But let's look at a few samples. I have several with that really fun tree print background. Here are two with that lovely poinsettia print. And I did a tutorial on photo cards, how to use photos on your handmade cards. And for these, several of my examples included prints from this pack. Here's another one. This was a fun shaker card I created with that poinsettia print outline and here's one more with that birch bark love the birch bark like i said and here was a fun fold i created during one of my online get togethers with my team members and i really loved how this turned out so I used those designer papers on this one okay get all my get all my things together so we can move on to number 11, the Hello Harvest Bundle. So most of what I've done so far is Christmassy. Let's look at some things for fall. And the Hello Harvest Bundle is perfect for fall. I, f fall is my favorite season and I love pumpkins and all of the other things you can decorate with for fall. So here's this bundle. And then let's look at several ways it can be used. So here are a couple of swap cards from some of my team members. This one was created by Pam Christian. Really fun with the pumpkins and the different colors. This one was created by Debbie Dotson. Love that with the nice uh, designer paper in the background. This was a swap card I received. 
again with that that's that same corner die I showed you on I believe was it a, the holly card here a minute ago that's a really neat one and then here are several that I created myself here is one with that washi tape that I really like with the black and white with a little bit of color on top here is a completely black and white one I created with some shimmery embossing paste this was really fun uh, here's another one with some color and some shimmery embossing paste on that pumpkin and then this one was one I did with a fun technique, uh, but I did use that greeting from that set. So those are all from that Hello Harvest bundle. Like I said, I know this is a lot, but I'm going to put pictures of these. If, if there's a particular card that you see, you're like, oh, I love that. I want to make that. Uh, use the link down there to go to my website. You'll find still pictures you can look at. And for some of these, I'll have links to the tutorials and then hopefully you can recreate them. Number 10, number 10. Here's where we have a couple here that are lots of fun. So the Christmas Scotty bundle, this, so here's a story. I, I, you know, I don't order everything in the catalog. Uh, some, someday maybe I will, but not yet. Uh, so I had drawn the line and I was not ordering this bundle because my order from the hottie catalog had gotten rather large. Uh, and then I went to a Stampin' Up! event in New Orleans for leaders back in August. And I received a couple of swap cards made with this cute little Christmas Scotty. And that was it. It was done. I had to order it. So here's that card I showed you again a few minutes ago to show the designer paper. Uh, but I used the stamp and the punch on the front, just the stamp there. Here is a, I already showed you this one as well for that designer paper, but not, that's a pretty simple one. And then I have several here that I received in swaps. I have the names for a couple of these. Glenda Bunn created this one, my friend Glenda. Uh, Amy Klonks created this one. Aren't these cute? I, I thought it was interesting how similar these were with the black and the red, but they are still clearly different, uh, but I love both of them. And these are the two that caused me to uh, ha have to go and buy this myself. I do remember Sophie Prestel created this one and you'll have to use that link to go and take a look on my website for who created this other one. Okay, where are we at? That was number 10, number nine, the trees for sale bundle. This is such a cute set. Uh, you might have to have some vision for how to use it, or of course our catalogs have tons of ideas, but I'll show you a couple of ideas right here. And these two are very similar uh, with a few differences, but you can see how I just stamp those trees repeatedly on both of them. This one, I cut the dog out. This one, I didn't, uh, but I stamped the pole and the lights and just added a couple of things on this one on the left. So I really love that card. And here's just a really simple one that I stamped the trees repeatedly again. So I love my favorite stamp in that. I, oh, it's these little paw prints. Is that not like the sweetest thing? Love that. Okay, that was number nine. Number eight, Joyful Flurry. This is a bundle with some beautiful stamps and dies in it. And here you can see the second part of the dies, but can you see how detailed these snowflake dies are? I have one card sample that will show you the detail of those lovely dies. Oh, maybe two, maybe two. Here are two cards featuring the stamps, and hopefully you can see the stamping in the background of this card, but uh, both lovely samples of how pretty those snowflakes are. And then, here was a sample I received as a swap that is beautiful with that punch out and the dies over here. And then this one was from one of my team members, Ellen Kepsel. And I just thought this was absolutely stunning with the dies cut out. See, and here you can see it doesn't actually cut out all those pieces. It just cuts them and leaves them in place. If you wanted to, you can lift those up so that they have some dimension but I thought this was beautiful the way it was. 
Next, number seven, the Christmas Banners Bundle. This is one that has a lot of value in my opinion for the, in that it can be used to create a lot of banners for your cards in a short amount of time. So I created a tutorial, I'll link you to, that shows how to die cut several of these at once. You can actually cut six banners at once because you can cut through two layers of paper and there's three dies here. So each time you crank through your machine, you can cut six. Then I showed how to lay those in the base of a stamparatus, line up your stamps so that you can stamp three tags at once with the outlines and then you can stamp three tags at once with the greetings that go inside. So you can use this with Christmas, of course, or you can pull in stamps from other sets and these can say happy birthday, thinking of you, get well soon, whatever it is, uh, whatever stamps you want to pull in from other sets. So that is a great tutorial to check out if you haven't seen it. And for that tutorial, I created these simple Christmas cards. So I used some of that candy cane designer paper that we talked about a few minutes ago. I just kept these really simple with some of that designer paper and ribbon and a few sequins. And those banners that I created so quickly using that technique that I shared. Next, this was a fun one and I don't have a lot of my samples to show you, but I will link to a tutorial where you can see them. The piece to you stamp set is so pretty. And when I shared a tutorial a while back, I got comments from a lot of you that you didn't really know how to use it besides just, you know, just stamping with it. But I'd shared a video, I think it was nine techniques that you can use with these stamps. So a lot of fun and different ways to use them. So like I said, I don't have a lot of those to share with you. Actually, this is the only one I think that I can share with you from that tutorial. But I showed how to stamp in multiple colors using the baby wipe technique. And this may be difficult to see, but this is stamped in both navies and deep purples. So that is one sample. Here is another one that is just really simple. I just stamped it with smoky slate ink and put it over top of this lovely paper that we'll talk about here in a second. And then this one was created by one of my team members and Sandy really outdid herself. And I just love uh, this with the embossing and the specialty papers in the background. Okay, next is that lovely vellum paper I just mentioned. Here you can see a few piece of the, pieces of this. This is actually vellum, so you can see through it. But I'll show you several of the prints, the snowflakes. And then we have velvet. Uh, so this is still vellum, but then it has the velvet accents instead of the silver ones. And I'll bring this card back in one more time. And this time we can look at that vellum, but isn't that amazing? You can just use small pieces of this to add so much to your projects, uh, but it is beautiful if you ask me. Next, let's look at number four, the Christmas lights bundle. This was part of a larger collection and I was really excited that the other part of this collection is continuing on, it's not retiring, but this one is and it has the lovely detailed stamps and then these beautiful and detailed dies as well. Now I wish I had a sample to show you with the snowflake. The snowflake is amazing, especially if you cut it out of like glimmer paper or some kind of specialty paper like that. It's beautiful. But I'll show you my two samples I have with the tree die. And I'm just trying to check to see who I can credit with these. And these are some that I don't know. Uh, but again, here's that same corner die in the background. Uh, <laughs> after I started receiving some of these swap cards, I, I had to order that corner die. I don't have it right here to show you what it's called, but it's continuing on. It's not retiring. But here you can see a couple of samples with that really pretty tree die. This one was stamped. This one was not stamped, uh, but a couple of beautiful examples. We're getting down to the end and funny enough, two of the products in my last three have been in my collection for quite a while, but they are finally retiring and I don't want anyone to miss seeing these if it's something you would like to have in your collection. So number three 
is the merriest moments stamp set and coordinating dies. It's merriest moments stamps and then the merriest framelits hybrid, merriest frames hybrid embossing folder. I'm not good with names, uh, but I'm trying. So merriest moments here you can see the stamps used this for a tutorial not too long ago on some really simple cards you can create. I love this set because you can do so much with just this stamp set right here. It has several nice greetings you can choose from for both the front and the insides of cards. And we have several different types of image stamps. We have the poinsettias, or you could use these for flowers other times of the year if you stamp them in other colors. We have the holly leaves. We have these more delicate branches and we have this leaf right here the berries the center of the poinsettia and a texture stamp which is a nice addition and then this is what makes this really really cool uh, we have a hybrid embossing folder where the embossing folder actually coordinates with the die set and i'll show you here in a second what that means so here are some samples. This is a beautiful one created by my team member, Tanya Swink. Just lovely. I'll show you a few really simple ones I created here for that simple tutorial, but I just wanted to show how cards can be very, very simple, whether you're a beginner or just trying to create cards with a few supplies or lots of cards in a short period of time. But all of these stamps are in the stamp set, and I thought these turned out really neat. I just had three colors of ink, white cardstock. You could do these all with white cardstock. I did add in a little bit of red and shaded spruce here. But those give you some ideas of what you can do just with the stamps if you're keeping it simple. Here is one I shared with, this is again that baby wipe technique where you can stamp using multiple colors, but I did create a tutorial for this one. A while back I uh, thought that one turned out really neat and last but not least this one will show you the that hybrid embossing folder and what you can do with it so let's see if I can explain this without confusing you you can die cut and I'm looking real quick at my stamps it's been a while since I created this okay so you can die cut that outer shape and then it lines up perfectly with that embossing folder. So I die cut the outside of this piece. I lined it up with the embossing folder and I think I forgot to show you part of the die set. This is going to make it make a little bit more sense. So here's the die part of the die set I showed you. This is where it all comes together is this is the other part of the die set. There's this large one that is an overlay for this large one, or I'm sorry, this would go in the background. Yes, this would go over top. And then we also have this nice rectangle one. So those are the ones I use for this. So I die cut that foil piece with the larger die. I die cut the smaller detailed piece with white paper. And then this one, I did a tutorial for double embossing, how to heat emboss over dry embossing with an embossing folder. Uh, and get this really neat look. So that may or may not have made any sense at all, but I will link to that tutorial on that double embossing. Two more, two more. Soft seedlings. This, is, this has been a favorite of this catalog, definitely. It doesn't look like much, does it? It's just a leaf and a little maple seed and a few simple greetings. But the things you can do with the stamp set are pretty amazing and I have several samples to share with you. Here is a beautiful one created by my team member Tanya Swink with that multiple color stamping effect. Another beautiful one created by my team member Sandy Newton. Uh, I'm happy that this Aspen die in the background is not retiring, uh, but she used, but it may be one you want to pick up. Uh, so many things you can do with that, but the soft seedlings uh, leaf that she cut and laid over top is really nice. Here is one I received in a swap. 
just stamp repeatedly, but it's so very pretty. Here's one I created for our team swap. I changed the dimensions and added just a little flap on the front with that cute little squirrel, but I like those leaves in the background. Here's one I created where I stamped on the vellum with the multiple colors. I did a tutorial on this one for using pastels to the color on this. I know it's probably hard to see, but the color on that I actually created with chalk pastels. I didn't actually stamp it with any color in particular. And then I created a tutorial with lots and lots of fun techniques that you can use this set with. As you can see, I have yet to turn these into finished cards, but I will do that at some point. But you can see some of the really pretty effects. The vellum one that I already showed you, that was the one of the ones that I showed. And there are several others. So lots of ideas for how to use that really nice soft seedling stamp set. Okay, drum roll please. We're down to the last one. And after we get done, I do have a few more cards to share, so I hope you'll stick around. But number one, drum roll. This one is so fun. I'm so sad to see it retire. Penguin Place. The Penguin Place stamp set and the coordinating Penguin Builder Punch. So I have several samples I'll show you with this. It has cute little greetings. This one's fun. I like you a lot. -le. Isn't that cute? To the coolest friend ever. Oh, and then this one explains, I like you a lot, and then it's like a little, except a lot. Like, isn't that cute? And you have all these little things you can put on to the penguins if you want to. The antlers, the hat, the scarf. Uh, we have their little feet if you want. The beaks, little hearts, the bow tie. And let's look at some samples. Here is a simple one I created. And I just used the stamps. That's per Pretty basic, I used a mask to create that neat background. Here is a very similar one I created. It just looks a little bit different, different colors, and I actually used some embossing paste in the background. That was a tutorial I did. This one, we'll see if they work at the moment. I haven't, I created this last holiday season, and they haven't, they haven't been loosened up for a while, so. But this is a spinner card, spinner? I always get confused, right? The spinner card. Uh, but I created a tutorial on this and I used velvet paper here. I should have used a different paper because I think that is what is keeping them from spinning how they should. But when they work how they should, they just spin, 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 spin. And you can see that in that video tutorial. Here was a cute little ornament I created. I showed where you can create four of these, score them down the center, attach them back to back and create little ornaments. And here was an easel card I created that pops up and displays that little guy. And this actually pops out as well. So several fun ideas for how to use that really cute penguin place bundle. Now, like I said, it's hard to pick favorites. There are lots and lots of other things retiring that I did not get a chance to highlight in this video, but I know you have other things to do. So use the links in the video description below to go and take a look at what's on sale. See if there's anything there that you really want to add to your collections. I'll mention this, if your wish list is bigger than your budget, you could order the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. You get to choose $125 worth of products. You only pay 99 plus tax, you'll get free shipping. And from that point on, you can order anything you want with a 20% discount if you are interested. So thanks so much for visiting. Please let me know how I can help you. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.